So I'm here by um, Westby's supermarket and this is their compound here as well. So like a mini shopping area. This is the western road and the You can see me here getting ready to go in. Alright friends, I'm here at Westby supermarket in Dago Martin. This is the entrance and as you can see the signs are closed. But I got exclusive permission to go inside and record Westby's supermarket to show you what the food prices are like in Trinidad at this time. Trinidad and Tobago that is, is islands in the Caribbean. It's a country, but I'm on the island of Trinidad in particular. The background is still cleaning up, so you might hear some um, behind the camera. I don't really like showing myself that much. The focus should not be on me, but on everything else. So when you enter West Bees, I mean, you can put your water bottles there. You used to fill these big water bottles and exchange it. You leave your bags here and you enter. You can see me up there, right there in the security camera. So would be people who think they're going to do something wrong, you'll be caught on camera. Now one of the nice things about West Bees is that as you can see, as soon as you enter, you always get lots of deals, and especially in this section here in the entrance, there are always deals. For instance, you might get two for a special price, or further down four for a special price. Now, I am not being paid for this. This is on my own free will, just to show you food prices. And it's really good that West Bees is willing to show me this. I will only focus on the things that uh, vegan related, no animal products and stuff, but of course they will be captured because that's all part of the grocery or supermarket depending on how you call it, but there's always a wide variety of stuff. Now the thing is, I want to show you the prices of goods here in Trinidad, and one of the things that is important to understand is that if you're going to survive you will need to look for deals. Now for instance, this is the price of corn here if you're buying it each, $8.95 for this brand of corn, family tradition. Um, I personally tasted this, it's really nice, this brand. And uh, you can only get that maybe in another grocery store for maybe 10 or even $11. But here they give you $8.95 each, but guess what? If you take four, you get in it for twenty-nine dollars. So that's a real good deal. You just have to shop small. That's one of the reasons I like to come to West Bees. And you can see how the full store is when nobody is here. It's really nice to get full reign of everything. Let's check out some of the vegetables. Those of you who like hot pepper, that's the price of it. By the way, the exchange rate here. Um, it's about six eighty, six dollars and eighty cents for one US dollar. Let's say seven dollars for one US dollar. So you can make the conversion in your mind about how much things are. These are pimentos. They are not hot. They're kind of like a, a sweet pepper with a little spicy zing in it. This is ten dollars, Trinidad and Tobago dollars. But that'll be what dollars something US. Sweet peppers, that squash. Now, prices always vary in Trinidad. For instance, this pumpkin cut up is three ninety five per pound. This one piece here is almost around ten dollars. But you might come another day, and it might be seven dollars a pound. I'll give you a good example of that. If you go down here by the cucumbers. Check out the price of cucumbers here. Now you might think that's outrageous, right? But that's not uh, just West Bees, that's everywhere. Prices of cucumbers right now, very expensive. But you might come another day and see these cucumbers for $3 a pound. And that's just how prices go in Trinidad. You have to buy smart. The one thing I like with, with West Bees, unlike other places, is that they grow the trend. So if something comes down, they will themselves bring it down. It is usually is a trend that something is expensive and they just keep it expensive even though the prices um, have come down. Let's look at cabbage. 
No, they usually cut it in half. Sometimes, like, if something is expensive, the price is high, they'll cut it in half for people who don't want to pay for the whole thing. So, for instance, this is 18 centimeters. And I'm not seeing whole ones here. Or you can get whole ones smaller. 16.97. By the way, we, they do stock foreign goods in case you were ever wondering about that. Radish, Brussels sprouts, celery. Celery is at 22.95. You have iceberg lettuce, and then you have the local lettuce. How many of you remember the local lettuce? It's, it sort of looks like kale. Very different to iceberg, which looks more like a cabbage. You have the abode. So this bundle is $8.14. You have your dashing bush, the pak choy, and so forth. On the other side, you have other stuff too. Most of these fruits here are foreign. The apples, the peaches and stuff. Strawberries, you, you would have seen where I had a video on my channel about eating strawberries. And I mean, we could see the small strawberries here. Strawberries in Trinidad is very expensive. Look at the price. That's right. So, you know, if you're on a budget, strawberries is not going to be an option for you. You might take something that's like bananas or whatnot. That's the more local fruits. My section here for that. But you know, things in Trinidad are expensive. So for instance, the size of pop-off, $42.46. You have watermelon. Like this slice of watermelon, $21.25. That's selling at $4 per pound. Sometimes it goes up, goes down. It depends on the season, the market, the availability, and so forth. Um, West Bees have a lot of variety as far as frozen goods too. You can buy a veggies frozen. And this is all of it here. And you can see behind me um, the difference in choices. Right now, for instance, to show you how things go, you have potatoes, right? Potatoes are selling at 7 right now. Sometimes it will go to three. Actually, this came down a bit. It was going even higher, so it was not as four dollars. So I'm not sure how the when I say the really the the whole market in Trinidad um, deals with prices because things go up and down based on goods coming in. Really, supermarkets and stuff don't really have control over that. Now, of course, you have all the dairy products and stuff which I will not focus on because, again, as you know, I'm vegan. But guess what? They do cater for vegans. And it's really annoying for me if I go in a grocery or supermarket and I don't see stuff that is vegan. But West Beast caters for vegans, so they have um, BioLife. That's the price. And sometimes you might get two for one, which is great. Have the margarines and stuff there. We'll go down the uh, next aisle. These sanitary cups. And of course they cater for um, household goods, containers and stuff. Some of you all will be familiar with some of these snacks. But a lot of these snacks are new. And the interesting thing about snacks now in Trinidad is there are a whole bunch of them. There's quite a variety in them. Um, both local and uh, foreign. So, just to get an idea of prices, let's say you have um, this popcorn. My children like this. Um, is a sea salt popcorn. Another bag. Price of that is five dollars. But then you might want to get something like whole green snacks. Uh, a bit on the healthier side if you want to look at it like that. It's garden hood. It's not bad. Same five dollars. But you, for me, I don't know. I like to get the larger snacks because to me, you get more bang for the buck. For instance, if you got this big chips, you would pay um, less in the end because you get more. You know, I always look at the weight. You know, look at the weight and calculate how much you're getting versus if you buy 
something small like this. And then the weight of this is only 32 and you're paying five dollars for that. And the weight of this is 140 and you're paying 15. So if you calculate the math on that, you'll see buying it bigger is usually the best. These are all the snacks available here. Some of you all will remember this. Brown roasted nuts. This is the original way nuts used to be sold when I was a kid. Now they have all kinds of varieties in the way they package nuts. But I still like to crack open nuts. But I don't know, I, things have grown up a lot. This is $12. And this is kind of small. You see the weight on this? 165 grams, 5.83 ounces. Um, go down the section here, you have your breads. You have a hot section here, sort of like a dairy section. Uh, you could buy roti and stuff here. Like for instance, this is um, a dark roti skin. And you can check the prices of them here. These skins and stuff, they usually go for like around $30, 25 to 30 depending on the brand. You get four in the pack. You have the usual bread. They sell hops like this a lot now. So hops could be from, let's say, 10 to $12. You have your sweet bread. I mean, how many of you remember this? This is real nice, sweet bread. So you have your options to whether you want to get your bread like this package or you could get the bakery bread. I mean, it's all up to you how you want to eat. Maybe in another day, in another video, I will talk about the economics of buying wise. But today, I just want to show you, show off the kinds of things that are available. And try that. I mean, recipes have a quite a variety of goods, but um, Maybe sometimes you might find something, you're, you're looking for something that you don't see here and you can always get it in another place. Now, this is another reason I like um, recipes. Look at the price for this peanut butter. You see they have a special there, Mabel's peanut butter. So you could get this size for $26.95. But if you go elsewhere, the normal price would be around this, huh? $33.95. So you see, you're saving a lot of money there. That's why I like to come to groceries like here, supermarkets. Sometimes you might get a deal where you buy, get one, buy one. You buy one, get one free. Uh, you know, if you're looking for sweet relish and stuff, they all have all that stuff here. This is a good example of what I mean by buy one get one free. You see a lot of that in China. I know that, you know, I didn't see that as a kid. Um, the price for that for Matooks, $15.95. And usually if it's like that, it's one of two things. Either they're just selling out to um, restock or it's close to the expiry date. So in this case, this is expiring just now. Usually, sometimes the expiry date is far away, maybe in a month or two. That one's pretty close. So they'll remove it just now. Now they have rice. Again, they have specials. They have um, caracom fried parboiled rice. Again, two for that price. They have the big bags. This is giving you all an idea of the price of clips now. Again, $7.00. For some TT dollars for one US dollars to give you an idea of the price. We have cereals. Now I heard through Parliament that cereals is a big consumer of the US dollar and they cost a lot. Really, all this stuff is just sugary. But if you enter cereals, this is the cost of sales. So for instance you have um, cinnamon close crunch that's $32.95. Um, really the kind of cereals I like is like this. Granola. This is the healthier option. $32.95. I remember just about a year ago this was like $22. So that's to tell you how things are jumping up in price. 
Dow Local Brands for granola. So you have like natural delights and stuff. They are just as good or even better than the foreign stuff. One of the reasons I would say that is because they don't put as much sugar. These things tend to be real sugary. Or you could just make your own stuff with the oats. So these are all the cereals. I mean, it's a mixture of both local and uh, foreign stuff. And uh, for instance, and I'm just doing this for educational reasons. I would use uh, almond milk for my, uh, when I do want to eat cereal or whatever, I would use this. So like almond milk, silk milk is 31.95 now. Again, a year ago, that would have been about hmm, $22, $23, but it's going up a lot. So just for informational purposes, I don't support milk products, but that's the price you would pay for milk, right? Um, at this amount of grams, 350. Now, these are the cash, the places where you would cash out. Going on here again, looking at the drink section. Watch out, there's still a big player here in the drinks market, especially with juices. Um, for instance, if you want, you, in the States they have these big gallon orange juice um, that you can buy and it tastes almost like Florida orange juice. I well, dare say that, that's up to the beat. Anyway, this is the uh, one liter size. It's twenty one ninety five, but you could get a, a more drink fashion, not as much for twelve ninety five. So it all depends on what you want. Basically, you know, you could drink um, things that are expensive, or choose something that is more affordable. For instance, most people, you all will notice. We'll take these Trinidad juices, these are local, like for instance you have the unsweetened, you add sugar to it, I put it in a jug that will last you a while, and you're paying $13 for this. This a few years ago was like six, seven dollars. That's to tell you the jump in price. Sometimes if you're lucky you might get two for one. I like particularly the grapefruit unsweetened to make a mix. When I do drink juices, I tend to drink more water. Of course, you guys will know Malta. I love Malta. My wife can't understand how I could drink it, but I love it. And they have local brands you now that um, cater for different tastes. For instance, you have coconut and hibiscus and ginger. Yeah, I really love that. I know some people will think, how oh, can you drink that? But I really like it. So we have the flour and peas section. So a bag of chana like this, like you're gonna make curry. So like a one pound bag. They have it for nine dollars and fifty cents. You have your pink beans, your yellow split peas, which they make dal and other things out of. Corn flour for pastas and. Um, empanadas and so forth you have your soup packed and um, this is the price of a big bag of flour which is this it's around 90 bucks um, and flour has been going up a lot of it has to do with probably the war in Ukraine but the prices here have come down for instance with high biscuits here you get flour for fifteen dollars and fifty cents but if you went and you took another brand, it could go up to as much as $20 and cents. So you know, you have to be smart when you're buying stuff. These are the peas, beans, and pan. Again, you could see how, like earlier I was showing you, the price of corn and the difference in it. I pick mixes. Right, this is a section that a lot of people like. You know, you have all your candies. A lot of the local candies here. 
chocolates and stuff. I mean, this is one thing I miss about um, being vegan is I love chocolate. However, there are brands that are not, um, do not have dairy in it, or they are vegan. For instance, this one is actually vegan. It doesn't have any milk in it. It's dark chocolate, and they fill the inside with coconut. It tastes really good. They also have, I think, this too. Um, is also vegan but anyway you have choices so you know whether you're vegan non-vegan there's quite a lot of variety of course you always have room for your local treats you know some of you like your red mango tambourine this is the cost of tambourine now you can see the prices so this we have six tambourine balls here fifteen dollars around two dollars and a few cents US for that those are things that as a kid you pay like 25 cents for I remember that back in the day you can see that there are a lot of foreign snacks here as much as you could get something foreign you can also get it local so for instance you might have the Oreo which is actually vegan all of this is vegan no dairy in it a lot of people don't know that but it's all dairy free um, so you have you know the Oreo cookie brand for instance but then you have the, also the local cookie brand which is actually in some cases has more variety in it and we have peanut chip which is chocolate chip that's the price of it about a year ago I could honestly tell you that must have been about seven eight dollars but there's been a huge jump so another snack food that a lot of people like you know you have it like the split peas you have the mixes these are the prices of those nuts with the skin on it and you salt it or non salted and that's the price you pay of course we can't um, go anywhere without mentioning crips now, sometimes you might get a deal like this. They give you two packs of cricks for thirty. Um, if you don't, if you don't buy it like this, you have to pay five dollars more thirty-five for the two. And um, cricks has a uh, quite a variety. You know, it's not just the plain cricks, which is what people know. This one here, you know, they have the one that I picked up, which is the um, sesame seed multigrain version. You have the wheat, you have the um, crispy, and this blue color with salt on it. And they also have a bran, which is the one I like to eat, right here. So you have um, stuff to make tacos. Sometimes you will get, um, if, you're not, if you look carefully, you will catch up your hand. Hines and stuff, all those things you could get here. This is the local ketchup, and you can see it's quite a variety. Same with sugar, you could buy sugar in a pack like this, right? Brown sugar, or you could buy it as they say here, loose, meaning that it's been bought in bulk and then packaged like this. Sometimes you get a little cheaper, it depends. You always have to check the um, prices. So you can see the price of sugar here for one kilogram. Infusions and teas, quite a variety, both local and foreign. The drinks, those of you who like beer, you can get both um, foreign and local. No, I don't really drink beer, so I'm not into that. Like anything else, you can always check the prices with the price checker. And I'm going to go along here. Uh, they have a lot of stuff too if you want alternatives. Red Mill, the Red Mill brand is quite expensive. You can see how much it is for some of these things here. I don't know what's the cost in the States, but it's pretty high. So I guess somebody that um, cannot eat um, flowered goods 
would have to take that. Now to get an idea of oil, for instance, this rich pork oil for a three liter bottle, you get enough for sixty dollars. And normally the price would be twenty dollars more to that. And that's no joke. You could see um, in other brands just how much it is. For instance, here you have beef, sixty-nine, and then you might have go up here. You see some for you. They have to keep checking the prices. Or it is pretty expensive. Something that um, I like to use, for instance, is the uh, coconut oil. This is coconut oil here, and it's cold pressed. Right, so it's, that means the oil uh, is in its natural form as much as possible. You have your pasta. Somebody drop something here. Put that back. Uh, so you you know you can make your pasta and stuff. And then of course seasonings. One thing I love about Trinidad is the seasonings. Real variety. But then flavors has quite a variety. Maybe I'll cover that one day. Um, but then there are all kinds. Seasonings itself could be very expensive. Um, you could say it's like a dollar a pack for one of these seasonings, depending on what you need, like fried rice seasoning, ginger, or whatever, you know. Have the um, toiletries. So, as they say, poo paper. Um, the toilet paper, I mean, the price could be ridiculous sometimes to reasonable. It really depends on what you like to use in your bathroom. It's all up to you. Um, but for instance, this pay 12 pack, that's $19. You could end up paying in some places as much as $28, so it really depends. But if you notice, one thing I like about West Beach, the prices are big. I mean, it's not like they are free to show you. Sometimes you're looking for the price, you can't even find it. But um, they display all their prices here and well. there. Um, we have the uh, things in the bathroom, toiletries, and so forth. You have your bleach, disinfectants, cleaners. And I mean, you will be familiar with a lot of these brands. Again, they're always local. Those of you familiar with Breeze. <laughs> Back in the, in the day, Breeze was a cheap brand when I was a kid. Now it's one of the most expensive brands. That's right. You have other brands too, like Radiante, and some of these that come from abroad. Maybe not quite as good. Then you have uh, things like the repel insects and stuff. Candles. Tinner spray. Just giving you an idea of some of the prices here. Pet food. Pet food varies. Uh, for instance, you have this vision, which is local, much cheaper than, let's say, the foreign one, which is these. You spend you know, as much as almost a hundred bucks to feed your cat. Hopefully, you don't have a set of stray cats like mine. Aluminium foil. So for, again, you could get this brand, which is pretty good. We use it. Sixty-five dollars for two hundred square feet. But then Diamond, which is also a known brand, if you want to get that at that size, which I don't see, you pay a lot more. Oh look, they do have the two hundred. Look how much you're paying. One hundred and five. There's nothing wrong with this brand. Huh? I mean I use it so that's the thing I like the contrast in prices you have a choice of what you want to buy of course one of the things that um, 
most people are concerned about is drinking water. There's a lot of chlorine in the water here locally. And uh, sometimes you need to drink water that has been purified. So the sunny. They say they have a special here, two for 19. Now if you want to buy um, the water here, you would be spending um, as much as $13 or $14. So, it's all up to you. You can choose what you want to drink. Soft drinks, that's another big thing here. So you get soft drinks here for like, you know, you have 7 up. 2 for 19, normally you pay $11 at the normal price. You can also buy it in bulk. Um, and one thing that um, Trinidad and Tobago has is quite a variety of soft drinks. I would dare say way more than other countries. All kinds of flavors. Teas and what. Because you have both the foreign to choose from and local. Club soda is usually one that I take. You have shrubs, $5. And then you might have a local brand that has it cheaper, but I'm not seeing it here right now. By the way, I'm not seeing anybody in the store because um, I've come before it opens. Go to the cool section now. And I will be staying away from the meats. That's not what I cover as a vegan. But they do have a section here for vegans. So you can buy stuff, non meat, if you're interested. For instance, locally they, they do sell like veggie patties made with, this one is made with chickpea, this one's made with beet, and so forth. So you have options for that. They have a big cool section here those of you who are interested in alcohol something I don't drink we do have that here as well that will also be non alcoholic option so you're getting an idea of food prices in when it's time to cash out and then you go to cash in and this is where you go we also have options here with we can get the snacks and stuff on the way out. And that is all the stuff here on this piece. So, I hope that you enjoyed uh, walking with me, looking at the prices of goods in um, Toronto and Tobago. Lots of thanks to West Bees for enabling me to record this and show you some of the prices here in Trinidad to do. Let me know what you think in the comments area of what you're seeing, the variety as well as the prices of food in Trinidad.